I am now going to talk about using sequential logic to find the average of three integers accurate up to two decimal places. So first let's try to understand what the problem clearly says. It says write a program to find the average of three integer numbers. That means we can assume that there are going to be three integers let's say a, b and c and the average is going to be a real number or a floating point number. The average is not going to be an integer. So suppose I had numbers like 2, 4 and 4. The average would be 3.33. Okay, although the numbers 2, 4 and 4 happen to be integers. So let's try to write a program in order to find a solution to this particular problem. So what I'm going to do is as usual in main then let us say I declare three integer type variables a, b and c. I have not given them any initial value because the user is going to enter the value of a, b and c. Then I have declared a floating point variable of the type called as average or with the name average. Then next step what I am doing is I am going to ask the user to enter the values of a, b and c. Okay, I'm saying three integers so that the user is aware that he has to enter three full numbers. Then using scanf, what I'm going to do here is I am going to into three memory locations. I am going to read three values from the keyboard. The important thing in scanf is please be sure that between the double quote and the end of this double quote, please do not leave any spaces either after the double quote or between the percentage and D you will have a tough time debugging it as well as you will have problems when you're running it. So I'm going to read the values of A, B and C. So once I read the values into A, B and C, I am ready to or I am ready with going to calculate the average. So let's say average is assign the value of A plus B plus C divided by 3. Now what I'm going to do here is using printf I'm going to calculate or I'm going to display the average. So I'm going to say average is now if you see average is percentage 6.2f the reason being width of 6 I wanted to print exact up to two decimal places that's why I have given 6.2f. Then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just have the variable average in this particular printf statement in order to comply with C 99 requirements I'm going to have a return 0 at the end. This thing of return 0 will be very clear once we go ahead and start doing functions. So for then don't worry about why we have started main with int main and why we have a return 0 in every main function. So what I've done is I've declared three variables a b and c of the type integer. Average is a real number or a floating point number. Now I'm asking the user to enter the values of three integers. Let's say the user entered some numbers into a, b and c. Next step I'm calculating average as a plus b plus c divided by 3 as you do it in maths. Now let's run this program to find out what is not correct with this particular program. So I click on run. Once I click on run, okay, so it's given me a number of warning messages. What it says is I have not declared the header file. So this is something you should be careful. So I'll stop the code here which is running and at the beginning I'll go ahead and include the header file. Alright. So I've done this on purpose so that you understand what are the common mistakes and you can make when we're typing at the beginning. Now let's say I rerun this particular program. When I recompile and run this program now so far it seems to be doing fine. It's asking me to enter the values of three integers. Let us say I enter 3, 3 and 3. Now when I hit enter, okay, now you will notice, okay, I'll enlarge the screen. Now you'll notice the value of the average is 7.0 whereas the average should have been 3. Let's try to figure out why this average was calculated wrongly or the average was not calculated wrongly. Our instructions were wrong. 
So what we are going to do here is if you look at this average, I have written it like the way I do it in maths. Since I have written it like the way I do it in maths, first based on the rules of precedence, it will divide c by 3. 3 by 3 happens to be 1. Then this is 3 plus 3 is 6, 6 plus 1 is 7. Therefore average is 7 and it's correctly printing it out. So what I have done is I actually should have been adding a plus b plus c and then dividing the entire thing by 3. So let me take care of that. Okay and let's see if this works. All right. So now what I'm going to do here is I'm again going to do something like this. I'm going to put this in bracket. So a plus b plus c is completely divided by 3. Now let me recompile and run this particular program. As I'm compiling and running this particular program, it's asking me to enter the values of three integers. Now let me enter 2, 4 and 4. So the total of 2, 4 and 4 happens to be 10. 10 upon 3 accurate to two decimal places should be 3.33. But let's see once we hit the enter and what the average is produced. So again, I have a problem here. The average is showing as 3.00, whereas the average should be 3.33. Now, I'll tell you what one more mistake I have made purposely so that to help you understand what kind of common mistakes you tend to make when you're writing code. So here what I have done is when I have added a plus b plus c all happen to be integers. 3 is also an integer. Integer divided by integer the result is going to be an integer. If I want this result to come as a floating point or real number a very simple solution. I'll make 3 as 3.0. Now what happens is when a plus b plus c are added, let's say the number is 10, because 3.0 is higher than an integer, this 10 becomes 10.0. 10.0 divided by 3.0 is going to be 3.33 and then you will have the average printing correctly. To verify what I am saying, let's rerun this code now. I am going to give the values 2, 4 and 4. Now if what I have done is correct, it should print 3.33 else whatever I said is again wrong. So let me hit and enter. Now if you see here, the average is showing as 3.33 which is what is perfectly right because 2 plus 4 is 6, 6 plus 4 is 10, 10 divided by 3 is 3.33. So this showed you how you can find out the average of 3 numbers. Let me try to do something else and let me try to show you some common errors you try to make. Like sometimes what you will do is you will say instead of having just one memory location on the left side, let's say I have two memory locations on the left side. Okay. Now if I try to compile this program, see what error the compiler will throw at me. So if you see here now, the compiler will throw this particular error at me. Okay. It's saying on line 12. So here you can see on line 12. Okay, here on line 12, I have average plus b. On the left hand side of an equation or an expression, I should have a single memory location. Here I am having two memory locations. Now the result of a calculation cannot go to two memory location. It must go to single memory location. That's why you are getting L value required as left assign operand of the assignment. That means a single memory location should be on the left hand side. So in order to get rid of that, what I am going to do here is I am simply going to delete this plus b. So this is one common mistake beginners make of having more than one variable on the left hand side. Now if you click and run it, it should be perfectly fine and it should get you the output. Just so that you don't believe me, just let's enter values 3, 4, 5. So 5 plus 4 is 9, 9 plus 3 is 12. So the average should be 4.00. So I hope this gave you a clarity of how entering three numbers which happen to be integers, how I got the average which happened to be a floating point or real number. And I showed you different problems you frequently make at the beginning. So type in this code into a code blocks IDE online or sorry an online GDB compiler or a code blocks or Visual Studio or a Turbo C++ compiler or whatever it is. Play around with the code, make changes, create the errors I have created. This will enhance your understanding and you will not make those mistakes in future. And also try to remove some double code, remove some semicolon, forget the percentage sign, forget the average in printf, forget the and sign in scanf. See what all problems you encounter. This is your baby steps towards learning program.